And what is going on people? We welcome to the Ghana Art family. It is time for evolution. And so in today's video, we're going to be speaking about how to, you know, better understand your principles before diving into exploring other avenues of, of art style. So this, this question was asked by Blazeverse, a family member of ours. So we're going to dive right in. And so a reason why it's recommended to have the ideal shape of the, of the human anatomy memorized or you know going back to realism or going back to understand where you where your muscle placements go where muscles originate um, etc you know going back to that uh, it works great because you know when you have your your when you have that memorized that that's like the first thing that you that you have or the first thing that you, you practice constantly and you know it by heart uh, it gets to a point where you can start to experiment with different uh, art styles, you know, and then your brain, you know, and as you're experimenting with different art styles, your brain starts to reference your, the first, the first thing that you memorize or, or the, or the idealized shape of the human, you know, anatomy. And so for, let, let's, let's take this for example, right? So let's say, you know, there's, there are different ways, you know, there are different ways an artist can go about drawing or a torso there are different styles and artists can go go about when drawing a torso you know and if you're if you're constantly looking at different styles you know keyword different different art styles you know for a reference point then your brain is going to get confused because you're, you're not referencing one thing it's so 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 let's say for example you didn't memorize you know i guess the idealized shape or your art principles or you know just just realism you didn't you, you know you didn't study you know your anatomy if you're using references from you know just different art styles you know just you know again there are different ways they, fundamentally there's uh, the art styles they're still following the rules but there are slight differences that take place with you know for example a, a, an artist drawing a torso uh, like different artists that draw torso there are, there are little slight differences even though it's still found the rules of anatomy there are little slight differences and so what I what I mean is so you know you want to get a you know you want to get a uh, so to say a reference point that you memorize and that ref, re, that reference point uh, can be realism or you know studying you know the actual anatomy and so when you study that and when you when you master one the idealized uh, an anatomical reference uh, it becomes easy to spot the changes in other art styles once you memorize like the idealized anatomical reference in your mind and when you memorize the idealized anatomical reference or your, your art principles you know, you'll be able to spot differences in other people's art styles very easily because you'll have a reference point of, you know, the idealized anatomical reference. And so people will say, will recommend to study realism, but even in realism, there, there, are, the, there are styles that differ mildly. However, in realism, realism is the original source. So when you, when you understand the original source, you know, when you have that, that memorize or you have your art principles memorized you're, when you're looking at other other art styles you know it's, it's just easy to spot the differences so you know it's recommended to stick to you know one mentor or slash teacher in an in anatomy or and then afterwards you know you can branch out when you have a, a full understanding about what you're drawing when you have a full understanding about you know muscle placements bone uh, etc. When you have a full understanding of all those categories, you'll be able to spot, you know, styles that that abstract themselves from from the original source, that abstract themselves from realism. You know that 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 look different. You'll you'll be able to spot, uh, you know, anatomical differences in, in each style, but with a reference point of you know having and practicing the idealized you know anatomical reference which is uh, realism and anatomy studying those and so when you do it with this method you know uh, you 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 start to see uh, something that is drawn 
you know you start to see the differences in, in everyone's style or everyone's drawing if you have if you have a, a idealized anatomical references the reference in your mind and you've practiced that idealized anatomical reference and so you know in your mind you'll be able to uh, subconsciously pick up and, and see you know this isn't the same of uh, like you'll be able to look at someone else's drawing and you'll be able to pick up that okay this isn't the same as what I memorized and then therefore since it isn't the same of what you've memorized it will make it much more easier to spot differences in each art style and what do you what and what the thing that you do want to memorize is like you know realism again like the idealized shape of the human anatomy when you understand how the muscles work uh, and everything you can you can start to you know implement that into you know various different things you know you can start to uh, again you know when you, when you when you know how the muscles work you can start to beef up the muscles you can start to you know add fat you know what just understanding the human body in general uh, will make you more more diverse in you know understanding or spotting different different art styles in different people and, and when you're when you're spotting different art styles and different people you can start to you know uh, just just uh, mix match and like just learn from from those artists is what they're doing um, and you know just just studying their ways you know and you study their ways with you know as I said you know understand the idealized shape of the human anatomy understanding how each muscle works where the attachment point where the attachment point goes and you know you translate that to, to to anything really once you have that you know ingrained in you once you've practiced that enough you know seeing art styles seeing the different in people's art styles will, will be much easier and, and and finding your own art style will be you know again much easier as well and so understanding your your foundation is important you know other artists may have different opinions but I feel understanding uh, your foundation is more important. It comes first, then observation, and observation comes second. And other other people may disagree, but when you know your when you know your fundamentals, you know you will be able to spot you know anatomy anatomy uh you know you you'll, you'll be able to spot a person's a person's anatomy just strictly from observation when you know your fundamentals when you know. Uh, how you know for example how the deltoid muscles how, how the deltoid muscle is shaped how the how the pectoralis muscle uh, ties into you know the the, the 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 lower top half of the the humerus bone you know when you understand you know all that on a, on a fundamental level when you when you're looking at observation you can constantly keep thinking about that when you're when you're for example if you're drawing a model you can constantly keep thinking about the underlying muscles as you're as you're doing your observation. And so the digital painting, or at least the anatomy practice that you see on the screen right now, the speed paint that you see on the screen by now, is me doing a Mark Burnett uh, anatomy lesson. And um, I did purchase that uh, that lesson. I'm also going to purchase one of his uh, his uh, what you call, his, his digital paintings. You know his his digital painting lessons, etc. Because I'm I'm also you know looking to you know you know branch. Not not branch out of traditional uh, art, but I'm looking to expand, expand into you know digital. I'm I'm looking to expand my 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 mediums, you know. So yeah, I'm I'm just you know just just uh, practicing that, practicing in that, and you know Mark Burnett he teaches well. So if if you ever need you know some uh, some anatomy like an in depth an anatomy tip, and also this is this isn't sponsored sponsored or anything. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know I exist. But uh, yeah, if you if you need a, a good lesson, I definitely recommend a, a, a purchase for for Mark Burnett's anatomy courses. Uh, he does teach very. He teaches uh, very. You know, it, it makes you. He teaches. It, it makes. It, it, oh, oh, I can't talk. It, it's just easy to understand. It's easy to understand when he explains these things. It's easy, fast, and. You know, he, he explains these things, you know, amazingly. Uh, another, another, uh, an, another person, another YouTuber, I would say, would be Procro. Procro, you, you also want to get 
you know different different perspectives on how other people teach anatomy you may you may find some revelations uh one person may explain something you know a little bit off or you may not understand it but another person may explain uh, i guess uh, uh, a portion of the anatomy that may you know ring a light bulb and you'll able be you'll be able to you know uh memorize it better or you know just simpler like so that's why you want to get different perspectives you, you want to like learn from you know different teachers uh but you know realism is is, is, is realism so again the styles may may they they may differ mildly but realism is, is realism you know it, it won't it won't change so much you know until you get into until you get into uh, art styles you know so yeah that'll be the video i hope this has helped you blaze verse and yeah peace